doesn't get any better than that. Enjoy it. It's extraordinary. And this um, is the blending blade. Um, perfect for finishing sauces. This is um, almost um, a way of just emulsifying everything rapidly. Um, high speed again, um, stressless, painless, and just you know, an amazing way of making a mayonnaise within seconds. But we're doing it with a twist, we're making it with whole eggs. And that stabilizes the mayonnaise. And it just makes it a lot lighter, a lot more uh, soothing, and so versatile. This little blade is brilliant for sort of blending um, different flavored vinaigrettes putting sort of basil, rosemary, thyme through vinaigrettes. That is a way of sort of just, I don't know, just perfumes the vinaigrette and blitzes it in a way that it just takes it to a completely different level. We've started using lots of vinaigrettes in all our sauces now to make things a lot lighter because customers don't want things that are heavy, rich and sedated. So I can't tell you how exciting it is when you just look at how easy a bar mix makes cooking. Um, simple, um, easy to execute and it's just uh, an amazing helper. Um, without getting stressed. Okay, mayonnaise. One egg, one whole egg. In. Bang. And then, tablespoon white wine vinegar. Teaspoon of mustard. We're using grain mustard. But you can use French mustard, English mustard. And then about 350 ml sunflower oil, nice squeeze of fresh lemon juice. And again, this is where the bar mix comes into its own because you put everything into the pot. You season it now and then attach the blender on and then simply high speed again. Vortex action, in, and watch. Count. There you go. All of 10 seconds to make the most amazing mustard mayonnaise. That's great, whether you're putting that through crab, whether you're doing it with fresh coleslaw. How many times have we struggled in this country to make mayonnaise because it always splits? That is delicious. You've seen what it's like making a mayonnaise. I mean, extraordinary. When you think what we used to do, I mean, beating in um, the oil, dripping it in there slowly. You know, we make hollandaise. You know, we heat the olive oil and make the most amazing olive oil hollandaise within seconds. Nothing splits, nothing's over a bain-marie, nothing's arty-farty, nothing's long-winded. It's done instantly. In a normal service at work, we'd make mayonnaise and hollandaise sometimes three or four times a night. Fresh, vibrant, fragrant. I couldn't do it without the bar mix. And it's just a way of just speeding the whole process up. We have a hollandaise sauce that's finished with pink grapefruit and it's served over the most amazing poached trout. And the hollandaise sauce is made to order. It's extraordinary. I couldn't do that without this kind of tool. So, yeah, I'm... I'm in love with it, and um, it got to a bit of a sort of um, state. I'm very sort of finicky. Every section has one. Every section looks after the blades, cleans it, and it's there. It's part of our apparatus, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's crucial. For me, it's more important than having a fire extinguisher in the kitchen, and I wouldn't even attempt to cook without them now. Mm -hmm.